We're here above the North Yard where behind me you see the shipyard skyline is changing. That white rooftop is helping to make shipbuilding safer and more efficient. We'll tell you why. Plus, it's the time of year for giving and shipbuilders are doing their part. And the year is coming to an end. We'll look back at some of the stories and the shipbuilders that made an impact in 2016. Those stories and more are coming up, but first on deck, when it comes to building great ships, safety and productivity are top priorities here at Newport News Shipbuilding. And that white building you see behind me is having a big impact on that here in the North Yard. Aaron Pritchett with our communications division has the story. It's one of life's most basic needs, and although not readily available or even quite possible, in all situations in the shipyard environment, shelter can make all the difference in the world as it helps to provide a safe and productive work environment for shipbuilders. So that is why Newport News Shipbuilding recently constructed two brand new 12,000 square foot weather structures in the North Yard. And although pretty simple in look and design, they're proving to be quite a game changer for those shipbuilders working on the next aircraft carrier, John F. Kennedy CVN 79. Quality of life uh, is the first thing that we took into consideration when we built these out here. Gets our craftsmen out of the weather, uh, provides them opportunity to work indoors and, and not suffer the elements outside. The second thing is the, the improvement with regards to not losing man days uh, with our weather. There's been a lot of times that we have to pass our people out due to uh, cold weather, icy weather, snowy weather. It gives us the ability to keep the product line moving and, uh, and getting our work done on time and uh, on schedule. We definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, we're out here every day building the world's greatest ships. So to see something like this to actually help benefit the shipbuilders out here, you know, is, um, we definitely appreciate it. This has been a decision and a process that's been in place for quite some time now. We just had the opportunity and the timing was right for us to be able to go ahead and erect these, not only on the buffer zone, but as well as on the final assembly platen out here. A lot of people on day shift take light for granted, and on night shift it's a valuable asset to have. Safety-wise, production-wise, I've come in early and worked late and it's a total improvement. They're very well built, they're very sturdy. And another aspect is they're actually able to move. We're actually able to separate these covers. We can separate them uh, individually. We can uh, collapse them all down underneath each other and actually open up the area in order to bring in units and, and bring in pieces of the ship uh, during the construction phase of that. So the versatility of being able to move these covers, uh, that's a big plus as well. Well, I actually, we call it the White House, believe it or not. And um, when I go home, then I'm ready to come back the next day. Not that I wasn't on the plat, but I already know where everything is, what I have to do, what I need. I know that I'm not gonna have to search for anything. So that makes it kind of exciting to come to work every day. I'm really excited. Uh, FAP has always been outside ever since I've been, uh, been here at the shipyard. However, with these covers on the west end of the final assembly platen, I see a lot of opportunity to possibly extend these further east. And uh, who knows, the FAP of the future may include a, a fully covered facility where we're able to work these things all the time. We've seen the numbers drop dramatically, you know, uh, from the time it takes to get a job completed out there on the plats, from taking the unit and putting it inside of here, where we're able to almost cut the, the time that it takes to get a job done in half. You know, I, I hear people asking, you know, hey, when am I gonna get to work in there um, and stuff? So I, I think there's a lot of opportunity and uh, I think there's a lot of uh, excitement about working inside these facilities to help build the greatest ships in the world. These weather structures are just one example of several infrastructure and equipment investments here at Newport News Shipbuilding, as this company remains committed to staying on the cutting edge of shipbuilding while giving their greatest asset, our employees, everything they need to continue to build the greatest ships in the world for the United States Navy. For Focus Internet, I'm Aaron Pritchett. Back to you, Brian.